Welcome, once again, we are having a question before us and uh, finding the area bounded by a curve and the x-axis under integration. We want to see how we can provide answer to it. This is a bit different from the previous ones that we did. Here we have not been given the limit of integration. We are only told we find the area bounded by that curve and that of the x-axis. So we need to find the limit of integration. So in this case, we begin by finding the intercept on the x and the y axis. So if you are looking for the intercept on the y axis, we are going to let y e on the x axis, we let y equals zero from this expression. So if y is zero, we'll be having zero equals to 16 minus x to the power 3 we know this is negative so when we cross we will be having x to the power what? square equals to 16 so we need to find the value of x we find the square root so x is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of what 16 and that will be plus or minus what 4 similarly if you are going to find the intercept on the y axis, x will be equal to 0. So y equals to 16 minus x, which is now 0 squared, still be 0. It implies that y is going to be what? 16. Now this point is going to be 0 and 16. That will be the point of uh, turning point of the graph. These right here are going to be the lower limit and the upper limit. This is more or less minus 4 and positive 4 so the lower limit will be minus 4 then 4 will be the upper limit so in sketching that graph we know y and the x axis will be here y axis so we are going to have 16 when x is 0 y is 16 that means the graph is going to pass there then when y is also 0 x is either negative 4 or what positive 4 which means there is a point here there is a point here the graph must pass this point this point and this point therefore we go all the way this way now we are looking for area bounded by the curve and the x axis what are the areas so the area is going to be right away from here to this place with the limit of integration from negative 4 to positive 4. So our area that we are looking for is just the integral of y dx right from negative 4 to a positive 4. We are integrating the function y and we are aware the function y is going to be 16 minus x what squared. So we add our dx. If we perform this definite integral, the area will be derived. So what do we do? A constant, we introduce the variable. So area is going to be 16x minus, we are going to increase the power by 1 to become x to the power 3 divided by the same power. There is not going to be any uh, constant, arbitrary constant, since it is definite. So minus 4 and what? 4. So now, using the upper limit, we are going to have 16 times 4. Let me use bracket. Which is the x minus 4 exponent 3 over 3. This minus the lower limit, which will be 16 multiplying negative 4 which is still our x minus negative 4 to the power 3 over 3 i think this will enclose so right away we know 16 times 4 will be giving us something like 64 so area will still be equals to 64 as in this place minus this will also be 64 so we're having minus 64 over 3 
then this minus will come since I'm having minus in there, let me maintain that this will give you negative 64 if you multiply and if you perform this, you still have a negative so it's going to be negative 64 out of 3 this minus is still there because this is the power of 3 if you find a negative uh, 4 times 4 will be positive 16 the positive 16 times a negative 4 will give you negative 4, 64 so that will be negative 64 out there so I'm aware that if I open this bracket negative negative become positive so this becomes 64 plus 64 then this right here will be negative this and this will be positive if I multiply it will be positive then open the bracket it will be negative so I have negative 64 out of 3 minus what? 64 out of 3 I believe I can compute here to have 128 minus the same denominator at the numerators 128 then this become what? 3 don't forget this and this they are all negative that's how come they increase so this negative go along with it so what do I do? I have over 1 so this is going to be my LCM 3 1 times this will be 24 so 4 carry 2 times this will be 6 so we have 8 times this will be 3 then minus 128 because 3 will go here only 1 times so we have that when we subtract that from this we have 3, 8, 4, 1, 2, 8 14 we have 6 7, so 5, 2 2, 5, 6 divided by what? 3 so we can do our long division if you have calculator we can go ahead so 25, 6 I believe it will go here 8 times 24, remember 1 so let's put the 1 here, it becomes 16 if I divide 16 by 3 that will be 5, remember what? 1 so let's put a point, a point, bring that remainder. 3 will go into 10. How many times? That will be 3. Remember 1. We still be 0, 1. I believe I'll continue getting 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 as my decimal numbers. So area is going to be 85.33 square unit. So in finding the area bound by a curve and the x-axis we can also be given the x-axis without its coordinate then finding the intercept can also help us find the coordinate which is the limit of what? integration in our next episode we'll be finding the area between two curves whether if the curves are two how do we find the area bounded by them thank you for watching like share and comment encourage somebody who is on your contact list who may need this video to subscribe and click on notification bell for more of these educative videos